We're out in a corn on corn field that we did a ripper study last fall. Two different styles of rippers ran through this high yielding field with lots of residue. They were case 875 rippers and over here we have on a 24 inch shank spacing the OEM wing point and you can see where the shank ran here and here but in between there's a lot of solid soil and yet in June here this soil has not loosened up it's extremely hard and we can argue and debate about what happens over winter but at the end of the day the plant always wins and the roots tell the story in this case this ripper it had the front disc gangs running about that five to six inches in depth addressing some really high yield residue that we had in this field. And it ran right at the five to six inch depth and the roots are telling the story. And in this case, the roots telling us that there's a layer here and you can see these two roots were growing on this layer. And as this root's coming out of the crown, this is a number three crown root, and as it's coming across, it's gonna eventually find a crack. And as we dig it here, you can see that it found this crack and it's heading down through the profile, heading to moisture. And then the ground underneath here is extremely firm. The jackknife really has to work to fracture these. And the roots came out of the crown. They grew across the top for four inches, found a crack, and they're starting to go down through those solid berms that are in between the shanks. In my hand here is this root that's running along the top of this disc layer. And you can see here on the tip of him, and you can see how swollen it is, He's under a lot of pressure trying to get through that hard berm with a ripper point to end fracture. You can see the swelling and you can see the crookedness as it's trying to fight its way down through that soil profile. And this plant tells us a story that it's struggling to get to the 12 inch depth without going around the side of the berm. And the berms you can pick up are extremely solid. This soil does not have the density that we're going to look at over on the right hand side of the pit where an 875 with a 360 bullet ran, where it fractured the whole soil profile from the top to the bottom. Over here is a second ripper pass with a 360 bullet point. Still mounted on a 24 inch shank centers, but has the ability to fracture the whole profile down to the 12 inch depth. And you can quickly pick that up in two ways. We can follow the flight of the root and the way the good Lord created corn is they grow down at a 30 to 35 degree angle. And you can see here there was no obstruction. This soil density was the same and that root just grew down. And you can see it on all these roots here just growing down through this profile. No longer is there a berm that they had to stop, turn, and flatten out and grow around. The second way you know is you can pick it up with the jackknife. Extremely loose. You can see it in the soil structure itself. And as you work with this soil structure, you can see that this soil last fall was put in ideal conditions. But at the end of the day, the plant wins by showing us exactly what the profile is under the ground.